I'm so excited. Nigel Barker, celebrity photographer and judge on America's Next Top Model, is in KL to share his skills and knowledge to photography enthusiasts. And Bella has got that covered. Follow me. To be that outspoken at a photo shoot was extremely unprofessional. Every part of your body is telling a story. You take great pictures. Nigel, now you are um, English and uh, also of Sri Lankan descent. And I happen to be an American. An American as well. I'm an American citizen now. I was born an Englishman, and you're right. I'm of Sri Lankan, Portuguese, English, and Irish descent, to be precise. What is it like to be such a melting pot of cultures? Um, you, you know, it is what it is. I guess I've always enjoyed a cocktail, and I wonder why. <laughs> uh, you know, ultimately, you know, that's where the world is going, and I feel that you know I'm lucky to have so many different cultures and backgrounds to pull from. Um, and I, that's one of the things that perhaps, I guess, made me the person I am today. And I, I grew up in England in the 70s, uh, and when I, on a daily basis, was asked, where was I from? And I would say, well, I'm English, I'm from London. People would look at me and say, but, but where are you really from? And it was, you know, kind of unusual as a young man to, uh, to have this question constantly asked to yourself. And it wasn't that I didn't know where I was from, but it made me realize that potentially perhaps I wasn't from here. And when I was 18 years old, I set off into the world and I went to Italy and I went to Paris and I started traveling to all these international destinations in the fashion world. And it was until I really got to New York where I realized that this was a city where no one was from here. Everyone in New York had gone to travel to New York that I found that no one asked me where I was from. And I guess the, the, the big question that I, that, kind of I got, that, answered, that I got answered for myself was that it didn't matter where I was from. The question was, where was I going? And that's really my main objective now. Are you always this philosophical? Um, I like to be. I, I guess I probably am. Anyone who knows me probably would suggest that I am. I, you know, we, there's, there's no hard and fast answer to anything, I find. You know, that there's many ways to do things and um, you, have to be, you have to ask questions constantly and you know, at the same time you have to be prepared to make an answer and say yes or to say no. Not to say that that's the only answer, but it's the answer then and there. And sometimes when you're a leader or a team leader, you have to make that decision if it's a hard decision. And regardless of whether it's the right decision or whether people like your decision, you've got to make that decision. And I think when you analyze all of these things, which is what I sort of end up doing as a creative individual as well as a manager of people, um, it, you know, it, it's, I guess it helps me be philosophical about life. Can you speak singleist? I can't, but there's a few things I can say. Like I can say sort of akmanam <laughs> kiahe, which means uh, what's your name? And simple things like that that my mother's taught me. Um, but I can cook Sri Lankan food. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, which perhaps is more important than the way you say it. <laughs> and today we're going to be shooting you in an eco friendly fashion shoot. You're a dad, I apart am. from being a professional photographer, a judge, uh, as well as a model. Um, what is it like for you when it comes to family? What values do you hold? Well, I mean, there probably isn't that there, is, there is nothing more important to me than my family. Um, I grew up in a big family, one of six kids. You know, family me me meals and you know events were extremely important, and we all ate together. And my grandmother lived with us, and there's always a huge sort of number of people at any one sitting. And my family's small little units. My wife and I, we've been together for 17 years, uh, married for 12 this year, and uh, I've never been more in love with my wife now. You know, in, in those all those 17 years, and when I look at our children, you know, I, I see our future, and uh, I see promise. And I, as a creative individual, I look to them to inspire me on a daily basis, and oftentimes by the simplicity in the way that upon they look on life, if someone's nice to them or not, or the tone of someone's voice, or the way they draw, the way they see things, the questions they ask me. I want to sometimes think I have the answer for them, but at the same time, I want to think of the same question that they've just asked and ask myself that question, why? 
eternal question of a toddler. Why, Dada? But why? But why this? But why that? And you can get frustrated sometimes, but then you realize, why? Why? It's what makes us special. So you're always this reflective as a person then? I try to be. I, if, I, if I wasn't, I think it, I would you know, get bored with life very quickly. I, I question things so that I can understand them. And once I understand them, I question why I understand them. Just looking back at your heritage, you know, having so many cultures in your blood, do you think that aspect of thing makes you a better photographer? Um, I don't think it makes me a better photographer. It makes me who I am, and whether people like me or not, I, you know, that, that's a big part of it. Um, but it's subjective. You know, I think that anybody has the, the potential to, to be great. I think we all have the potential to be great. And then when one is great, does it matter? You know, and who are you great to? What is your legacy? And I know I certainly hope that people enjoy my photography, but really what I would hope is that my legacy is the things that I can achieve and the, the, the hearts and minds that I can move through my imagery, through my photography, through my passion for life, through my questioning, and through my children. Um, so not just that I can enjoy a better quality of life in my own time, but so that my children can inherit a better world and with a better understanding of what they can do and achieve in their lifetimes. And you know, certainly by involving my children in everything I do and talking to them and discussing the various adventures and um, humanitarian efforts that we make, that you know, we, I inspire them to be role models you know, in their lives and, and, and to also realize that anything's possible if they give themselves a chance. Thank you.